Okay, let's uh, do our first paper question. This is a question which was examined some times back. And one thing I know with this question under decision theory, the time it will be repeated. Many students will not get it right because not many lecturers normally do this question. And it is under decision theory, the environment of uncertainty, where you are required to come up with a payoff table, then you make decision based on certain criteria. So um, uh, let me just, uh, for those who can access this question, it's in June 07. And if you're keen, Kastner of late, also the past paper questions, all those questions which were examined many years ago, they are being repeated again. So that is the reason as to why I decided to do this question for you. It's a very good question for anyone doing QA and anyone doing advanced management accounting should watch this video and i want to just give the question it is in june 07 so let's have the question this is june it was tested in qa in june 2007 it is question number seven it is question number seven june 07 question number seven we read the question together. It says, Farm Product Limited, FPL, produces or sells fresh milk. The milk has to be sold within one day, otherwise it will get spoiled. The method FPL packages the milk for distribution in crates, each carrying 20 packets of milk. Each crate of fresh milk costs 300 shillings to produce. So we can have that amount, that shillings, the cost per crate, each crate of fresh milk costs. So this is the cost per crate is equal to shilling 300 to produce and sells for. So selling price per crate, selling price per crate is equal to shillings. I think it's 400, is it? 450, not 400. I think it's 450 shillings, which is 450. Let me have that 450 there. So our crate is uh, being sold at 450. So if they want profit per crate, I think we can determine the profit per crate. Most of the payoffs, the tables, they require profits. So profit is selling price minus the cost. So we are selling one crate at 450, but we have the cost of making that uh, the crate is 300. So profit per crate is 150 shillings. So we continue reading. Any milk not sold at the end of the day is given out free of charge to the workers. Then we're told, if demand exceeds supply, a special production of fresh milk is made at a cost of 400 shillings per crate. So if demand exceeds supply, if demand exceeds supply, want to know what would be the cost per crate. A special production of fresh milk is made at a cost of 400 shillings per crate. So the cost per crate will change. Cost per crate, Instead, previously it was 300, but this one should be uh, how much? 400 shillings. Then the selling price will be, however, the selling price remain unchanged, meaning selling price remain unchanged. Unchanged, previously it was 450, so it remains 450. Again, we can get the profit per crate. To Profit per crate, it will be 450 minus 400, 50. which will be 50 shillings when demand exceeds supply. So we just analyzing the question to make our work easy. However, the selling price remains unchanged. We are told FPL sells the milk in multiples of 100 crates. We do not sell 50 crates. Whenever we are selling, we are selling either 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. That's what they said. 
The table below shows the distribution of sales of crates of milk over the last 80 days. So this is what was sold in the last 80 days. We have the number of crates sold. Number of crates, number of crates sold. We have 100, we have 200, 300. Remember you're selling them in hundreds and 500. Frequency of sales. We are given this one by the examiner. Frequency of sales. 100 crates we have. This is in terms of days. We have 8, 20, 32, 12, and 8. So that's how we are selling. So whenever you total this one, it should give you 80 because you are told it is what was done in 80 days. Assume the future distribution of sales remain unchanged. Required a payoff table for the above problem. So let's get the payoff table. Payoff table. So here it's about production. FPL produces. So it's about production. Then there is sales. Sales is about the demand, the unity demanded. So production. Which is the supply? It's our supply. And we have the demand, which is what was sold. These are the sales. According to the information given, this is what was sold. 100 crates, 200, 300, 400, 500. 100, 200, 300, 400. And we have 500 also, up to 500. So that is our demand, how the crates or the milk was sold. If that's how we sold, even we are producing in hundreds. So, so production, 100, 200, 300, 400, and the last one, 500. So that is what we are having there. Let's have our payoff table. So that is our Roman one or part A. Payoff table. Let's get the payoff table now. So when you read the question, any milk not sold within a particular day, it is given out free of charge. Great. So let's start at this point. We need the payoffs should be profits so or payoffs. These are should be profits. That if you're not told that's why you're giving the selling price, less the cost to get profits. Mostly, if you can get profit, pay of table should be made of profits or the benefits you are getting. Now, at this point, we want to come up with the value, the profit at this point. The demand is 100, the supply is again 100. So it means we are going to sell whatever we produced. Hope you are together. The whole 100 crates will be so will be sold. How much will we get as profit for these 100 crates? And this is under the normal circumstances. There is no way we are told the demand has exceeded supply. That one will be evidenced later as we proceed. Now, demand is 100. And between demand and supply, demand is a state of nature. Supply, it is the alternative. We have power to control what we can produce, produce and supply. But whatever is demanded, it is affected by the market forces. We have no power over the demand. It is affected by the market forces. It's the customer who decides what to buy. But we have the power as the owners of the FPL of the company to make decisions on what should we are going to produce and what we are not going to produce. Thus, the supply, it is uh, an alternative. Our production is an alternative. And the demand is uh, the state of nature. That one you need to know. Great. So here... The supply, we have produced 100. Customers, they need how many? 100. We are going to sell all to them. And per crate, we are making a profit of? So how much would be the profit at that point? Is it 15,000? Yes. 150 per crate times the number of crates, which is 100. This would be 15,000. Appear together there. What about at this point? We have produced 100. Appear together. Then the customer they need to 
So you have less, the demand is more than the supply. Whatever we can produce and supply is 100, but here the customer needs 200. You first sell what you have and get the normal profit of 150 per crate. Sell the first 100, so you'll have the 100 times 150. You'll get 15,000 for that. Plus, you now have to produce others at an extra cost because demand here is more than the supply. Then per crate, you'll be making a profit of? 50. So the, these ones, they are in excess of what we are having by again 100,000, 100 crates. So it shall be 100 crates times 150 plus again the other 100 to meet the demand of 200 times, but now that one you multiply by 50. So what are you getting? Is it 20,000? Yes. For this one, demand has succeeded by 200 crates. So you sell the first 100 by 150, so that is 15,000. But now 200, the ones which are in excess of this 100 is 200 when you're at this point, times 50, because per crate that one we have to produce, these are special production which need to take place, per crate is what 50. So 100 times 150 plus 200 times 50, is it giving you 25? Yes. The other one, 100 times 150, which is 15,000, Plus, this one has, has exceeded 100 by 300. So 300 times 50. Are you getting that? Yes. yes. Then for this other one, 100 times 150. Plus, this one has exceeded again by 400. So 400 times 50. Is it 35? Yes. yes. We go to at this point. At this point, we want to know what is happening. We have produced 200. This is the supply is 200. Demand is 100. You cannot sell more than what the customer needs. So sell what they need. How much does the customer require at this point? Customer needs 100. But for you as a company, you produce how many? 200. So sell to the customer the first 100 an attacker or the ones he wants. And get 150. So 100 times 150. That is 15,000. But now the ones which are going to remain, they will be sold or given free of charge to the customers. But we incurred cost to produce them. So less the cost of producing these crates, which will be given out free of charge. Because if the milk is not sold in that particular day, it gets spoiled. That is what the question said. So the, the extra 100, we need to less the costs associated with them. How much did we incur as the cost to produce them? Production cost was 300. So it shall be 15,000, whatever you get, which shall be that 100 crates which you sell, you sell at 150, which is 15,000. Less the cost you incurred to produce the others you are giving out free of charge, and you are giving 100 crates because they are, the supply is the one which is in excess by 100 times the cost of producing the milk you are giving out free of charge, which is 300. So 30,000. So when you less, you'll get a loss of? So here is a loss. You put it into brass. What about this point? At this point here, when demand is 200, supply 200, you sell everything. So you sell the 200, because the customer needs 200, you also have 200. 200 times 150. This one is giving you what? 200 times 150, is it that thousand? Yes. At this point, now demand is more than the supply. We produce the 100 in excess. So 200, you sell them and get what? 150 per crate. So it shall be 200, at uh, this point, 200 times 150, plus, it's plus this time because it is demand, which is more. We need to produce extra. But for each crate, we shall be getting 50 profit. So the excess 100 times 50. So say 200 at this point, we sell the first 200 we are having, we multiply that one by 150 per crate, we have, you get the profit from this 200, plus the, now, the ones which are in excess, which are 100 times a profit of 50. So this is going to come to 35? Yes. Yes. This point, they are in excess of by 200, so 200 times 150, plus the ones in excess again, 200 times 50. 
Is it coming to 45? No, 40? Yes, 40. What about here? 200 times 150 plus 300 times 50. Because the, the 200, the difference between 500 and 200 is 300. So 300 times 50. So this one is 45? Yes. Go to the other one here. At this point, how much are we producing? 300. Customer needs 100. Sell to the customer the 100 he needs. So customer needs the 100. And to get 150. This is 15,000. But you less the costs because we have the extra crates which will be given out free of, char of charge. So how many crates are given out free of charge? The difference between 300 and 100 is how many? 200. 200 will be given out free of charge. And we must multiply by the cost of producing them, which is 300 per crate. So this is around 60. this 60,000. Yes. This is a loss of? Is it 45? 45. 45 loss. Mm -hmm. Do the same to this one. Let's see what happened here. Customer needs 200. We have 300. Let's give the customer what he needs first. Customer will buy the first 200. Because you don't need any other extra. You need only 200. We get the 150. Per crate. This is around what? This is 30,000. Yes. The 30,000 less the cost of the crate, which will be the other crates which will be given out free of charge. There's 300 and 200. The difference is? 100. And so these extra crates we have, we give 100 free of charge, but the cost is there. We cannot as, uh, ignore the cost. This is uh, 30,000. Yes. Is it zero? Yes. So you have zero there. Here, 300, 300, meaning demand and supply, they are equal. Give them whatever you have produced is whatever is what they needed. Sell them and get each crate is giving you 150. 150 by 300 is giving you the 40? 45, 45,000. The other one, you do it the same way. But this one demand is in excess. So the first 300, you sell them and get 150. So 300 times 150. The excess is 100 times 50. This is giving you 50,000. This other one, if you do it, this is 300, 500, sell the first 300 by 150, get the profit of 150. Then the excess ones, you get a profit of 50. So excess is 200. So it will be 300 by 150 plus 200 times 50. Is it giving you 55? We go to this other point here. Customer needs 100, you have 400. Sell the 100 first. Then the costs will be incurred for the other. So 100 times 150 minus the costs of producing the ones which will be given out free of charge 300 because the difference between 400 and 100 is 300. So the 300 times uh, again 300. So I don't know what you're getting there. A loss of? Said we have to sell 100. The customer needs 100. We get 150. This is 15,000. Less the excess unit is 300 crates by 300. This is around 90,000. So the difference is a loss of 75,000. At this point, customer needs 200, you have 400. Difference is 200. So first, sell the ones the customer needs and get 150. This is around 30. Thousand. With thirty thousand, you need to less the cost of the ones which will go. You give free of charge to the customers. The difference is the to the employees. Difference is two hundred. The cost is three hundred. This is sixty thousand. Less it, you get a loss of thirty. It's a loss of thirty thousand. The other one, four hundred, three hundred. The customer needs three hundred. Sell the three hundred by one fifty. This is forty. Five. Less the excess crates. How many? 400 and 300, 100 are in excess. Then you multiply by the cost of 300. So this is giving you 30,000. So are you getting a profit of 15? Yes. So you'll have 15,000 profit. The other one, 400, 400, meaning you get a profit of 400 times 150. I don't know how you owe much. Is it 60,000? Confirm. Yes. Because you're selling the whole amount. Here, you'll sell the first 400 you have because demand is 500, but you have 400 first. Sell the 400 
and gets 150. This is around what? 60,000. 60, eh? This 60,000, you need to know the other units. The excess crates you need to produce is 100 crates. Each crate giving you 50. So this is like 65. 65, eh? 65,000. So you'll have 65,000. We are remaining with this now, the last column there. So for this one, this one uh, you will have, let me have those small, small workings here. So at this point, you have 100, customer needs 100, you have 500. You sell the 100 at this point, 100, 500. Sell the 100 and get 150. This is 15,000. But the others you are giving free of charge. The difference between 500 and 100 is 400. Multiply by the cost of producing them because you are giving to employees free of charge. This is 120,000. Huh? When you less it from 15,000, what are you getting? Negative 105. 105 negative. So it's a loss of 105. The other one, at this point, customer needs 200, you have 500. Give the customer what he needs, 200, and get a profit of this, 150. This giving you 30? 1,000. Less the excess, different between 500 and 200? 300. 300. Those, those 300, you give them free of charge, and it's 90,000 there when you multiply, because the cost is again 300. So the loss of? Negative 60. 60, loss. At this point, 500, 200, no, 500, 300. So we sell, we need to sell the first 300 the customer needs, because that is what he can, the customer needs, and get, these are a total of 40? 40, 45,000. But the ones, 500 and 300, the, diff, the difference is 200. So this 200 we are giving out free of charge, cost is 300, this is 60,000. These are loss of 15? Yes. 15 lo the thousand loss. Then at this point here, 500, 400, we sell the 400 and get 150. This is a total of 60, no. 400 times 150, what are you getting? Is this 60,000? Yes. Then you less the cost. It is in excess. How many crates are in excess? 100. 100. So 100, you give them free of charge at 300 costs. And then this is the 30,000. When you less, this will be a profit of 30,000. 30, profit of 30. Then the last one, 500, 500, multiply by 500 and sell at 50, 150. This is coming to 500 times 150? 75. 75. So that is what the examiner needed. It is not an easy question, it is a question for seven marks. Getting these seven marks was not easy. That's why I decided to do this one to help my students, those who will watch this uh, channel, and those who are my followers. So that is the Roman one, the pay of table. Now we have the pay of table. We can go to know Roman two. I'll wrap this bit here. I think it has helped us to get all the information we needed. So I don't need this side. I can now all these workings. We don't. We have the pay of table. So let, let's go to Roman two. Part B of the question, part B of this question is saying the optimal number of crates of milk that FPL should produce per day if they use one maximi maxi max criterion. Maxi max criterion. So we want to make decisions, should we produce? So that's why it is optimal number of crates FPL should produce. So we can produce production is on this side, either 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So we are making decisions, should we produce these are crates, 100 crates, should we produce 200, should we produce 300, 400, 500, or 500. Now, and uh, if you're producing 100, so these are the alternatives, 100 crates, and this is max, max, which is pick the maximum value under the 100 crates. Under production, this column, this is the alternatives. Under 100, which is the best? 
so 35,000. So this is the profit. 35,000. And uh, these 200, if you produce 200 crates, which is the best one, um, which is the best profit here, we shall have the best value, maximum value is? 45,000. 45. Uh-huh, then we make, what about here? 300, we pick 50. What about 400? 65. 500? 75. Out these marks, marks. Out of these maximum, pick the maximum of them. 70? So FPL under this criterion should produce. How many crates? 500 crates of milk. So we go to Roman 2. Roman 2, here you see which criteria max mean. Max mean, this is maximum of the minimums. So under 100 crates, give me the minimum. Under 100 crates, minimum is 15,000. Yes. Minimum profit is 15,000, is it? Yes. Under 200 crates, minimum is. Minimum minimum is? Negative. Negative 15,000 loss under 200, 300 crates. Negative 45,000. Negative 45,000 under 400 crates. Negative 75,000. Negative 75,000 under 500 crates. Negative 500. Uh, negative 1. 105,000. Out of these minimums. You pick the maximum of the minimum. That's why we use max mean. Maximum of these minimums. Maximum is? 15. Dollars. So they should produce what? So FPL should produce how many crates? 100 crates. 100 crates. 100 crates. Okay, I go to Roman. Next to Roman 3. So Roman 3, Roman 3 is talking of the expected monetary value, the EMV, which is the expected monetary value, expected monetary value, EMV. For EMV, I'll use this table here. I'll get the expected monetary value here. I'll write here EMV so that I can go very fast. I finish up on this. Get the expected monetary value. Anything expected, you multiply by the probabilities. Probabilities, how are you going to get them here? You use the number of days given. Divide by the total. Remember, for 100, for 100 crates on the demand here, Demand is the state of nature, is where, is which is given the chances of occurrence. Eh? So the state of nature here, it was eight days, is it? Yes. The, in terms of days, these were eight days. The other one was? 20. 20, then? 32. 32. 12, 12 and? 8. Divide them by the total number. Total number of days, they were 80. Yes. That's how you get the probability. So you'll be saying 8 over 80. If it's under the 100 crates here, you want to get the EMV. So 8 over 80 times 15,000 plus 20 over 80 times 20,000 plus 32 over 80 times 25,000 plus 12 over 80 times 30,000 plus uh, 8 over 80 times 35,000. It will give you the expected monetary value. So do that one. Do that one very fast. Give me those values. Or somebody to help me with the calculator, I just calculate it. I, so I can have this very fast. So I'll have 8 over 80 multiply by 15,000 plus 20 over 80 multiply by 25. No, sorry, 20,000. 20,000 plus we go to 32. 32 divided by 80 multiply this by. The value under 100 crates is 25,000 uh, plus you go to 12 over 80, 12 over 
80, you multiply this total over 80 by 30,000. 30,000 plus 8 over 80. 8 over 80 times we have 35. So this one is giving me 24,500. 24,500. Then I go to the other one. We have two, for 200 crates EMV will be 8 over 80 times the negative 15,000, which is a, because it is a loss. So 8 over 80 multiply by a loss of 15,000 plus 20 over 80, 20 over 80 multiply by corresponding payoff is 30,000 plus again 32 over 80 multiply by what? That's 2 over 80 multiplied by 35,000. Plus, we have 12 over 80. Multiply this by 40,000. Plus, 8 over 80 multiplied by 45,000. Getting 3,500. Then we have the other one. We have there, we have uh, 8 over 80 multiplied by... This is 45,000 are negative, which is a loss plus, this will be 0 because 0 times 20 over 80 is 0, so it will be plus 32 over 80, 32 over 80 multiply by 45,000 plus 50 or 12 over 80, 12 over 80 multiply by 50,000 plus this is 8 over 80. Multiply by 55,000, 26,500. Go to the other one. 8 over 80. Multiply by negative 75. 